हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द अनदर वीडियो ऑफ कूका लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद द सेफ्टी ऑफ दिस प्रोडक्ट सो वी कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम द वर्क स्पेस सेफ्टी जोन एंड डेंजर जोन वर्क स्पेसेस आर टू बी रिस्ट्रिक्टेड टू द नेसेसरी मिनिमम साइज अ वर्क स्पेस मस्ट बी सेफ गार्डेड यूजिंग अप्रोप्रिएट सेफ गार्ड द सेफ गार्ड्स मस्ट बी सिचुएटेड इन द सेफ्टी जोन इन द केस ऑफ अ स्टॉप द मैन्यूपुलेटर एंड एक्सटर्नल एक्सेस आर ब्रेक एंड कम टू अ स्टॉप विद इन द डेंजर जोन The danger zone consists of the work space and the stopping distance of the manipulator and external access. It must be safeguarded by means of physical safeguards to prevent danger to persons or the risk of material damage. Example of access range A1: work space, manipulator, stopping distance, safety zone. Triggered for stop reactions. Stop reactions of the industrial robot are triggered in response to operator actions. or as a reaction to monitoring functions and error messages the following table show the different stop reactions according to the operational mode that has been set trigger t1 t2 aut aut ext start key released stop 2 stop key pressed stop 2 drives off stop 1 motion enable input drops out stop 2 robot controller switched off power failure stop zero internal error in non safety oriented part of the robot controller stop zero or stop one dependent on the cause of the error operating mode changed during operation safety stop two safety gate opened operator safety safety stop one enabling switch released safety stop two enabling switch pressed fully down or error safety stop one e stop pressed safety stop one error in safety controller or periphery of the safety controller safety stop zero safety functions overview of the safety functions the following safety functions are present in the industrial robot mode selection operator safety connection for the guard interlock emergency stop device enabling device external safe operational stop external safety stop one not for the controller variant krc4 compact external safety stop 2 velocity monitoring in t1 the safety functions of the industrial robot meet the following requirements category 3 and performance level d in accordance with en iso 13849 2008 sil2 according to en 62061 the requirements are only met on the following condition however the emergency stop device is pressed at least once every 6 months The following components are involved in the safety functions. Safety controller in the control PC, KUKA robot panel, KUKA smart pad, cabinet control unit CCU, resolver digital converter RDC, KUKA power pack KPP, KUKA servo pack KSP, safety interface board SIB if used. There are also interfaces to components outside the industrial robot and to other robot controllers. Danger In the absence of operational safety functions and safe guards the industrial robot can cause personal injury or material damage if safety functions or safe guards are or deactivated the industrial robot may not be operated during system planning the safety functions of the overall system must also be planned and designed the industrial robot must be integrated into the safety system of the overall system safety controller The safety controller is a unit inside the control PC. It links safety relevant signals and safety relevant monitoring functions. Safety controller tasks switching off the drives, applying to the brakes, monitoring the braking ramp, stand still monitoring after the stop, velocity monitoring in T1, evaluation of safety relevant signals, setting of safety oriented outputs, mode selection. The industrial robot can be operated in the following modes. manual reduced velocity t1 manual high velocity t2 automatic aut automatic external do not change the operational mode while a program is running if the operating mode is changed during program execution the industrial robot is stopped with a safety stop to operating mode t1 use for test operation programming and teaching velocity program verification program velocity maximum 250 mm per second jog mode jog velocity maximum 250 mm per second 
T2 for test operation, program verification, program velocity, jog mode not possible, AUT for industrial robots without higher level controllers, program mode, program velocity, jog mode not possible, automatic external for industrial robots with higher level controllers, example PLC, program mode, programmed velocity, jog mode not possible, operator safety, the operator safety signal is used for interlocking physical safeguards example safety gates automatic operation is not possible without this signal in the event of a loss of signal during automatic operation example safety gate is opened the manipulator stops with a safety stop one operator safety is not active in the test modes t1 manual reduce velocity and t2 manual high velocity that's it for today's video in the next video We'll continue from the warning and emergency stop device. Thank you very much.